Alright, this is Friday the thirteenth, part five, a new beginning review. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and go over some scenes. I'm gonna try to sort out all this random strange trash cinema that we get in this film. One of the most hated Friday the thirteenth films. Okay, so it starts off with Tommy not Tommy Doyle, Tommy Jarvis. And they're like it's the hallucination, and, and then Myers fan would be like, why is Tommy at a cemetery? Why is Tommy? He's there staring at Jason's grave. Well, we figure out he's hallucinating throughout the whole thing. And so he gets taken to basically like a halfway house for like mentally deranged. Bipolar teens. Schizophrenic, psychopathic teens, like all the... All the above. Like Tommy. <laughs> back there, and you're like, what the fuck are they bringing them back like, to Crystal and Lake? Like, if you can stay here, like, you'd stay here and, have, and be around Jason killing everyone. And you don't you, even you see where back. it's going at first, Julie. You can go back into society. Yeah, you're like, yeah, they bring them back to Crystal Lake, what the fuck? Yeah, you don't even know and then the doctor Lake. checks. Like then the doctor checks his file, and he's like, yeah, he's totally fucked up enough to be here. His brain's fried. He's he's, he's on everything he, he from from Xanax to Zyprexia. And then the, the fat kid shot. Joey. Every time he turned on TV around Halloween time, they're always playing this scene. Where he's got the candy bar, the chocolate. Candy. And it's basically just like a reincarnated version of the kid from Friday the Thirteenth Part he, Three. Oh he, yeah, Shelly. And they're just letting some random psychopath chop the wood in the front. Oh yeah, they're letting the schizophrenic, one of the crazies with an axe out front, Amityville Horror stuff. They got an anger issue, Chapwood, and then freaking the fact that it's killed my There's own. like so many different random death scenes, it's like, they, they just... sum it up, they go with home to random scenes. And then they introduce the... They are all psychopaths, and tonight the psychopaths are world champions. Introduce the Meanwhile, Tommy Jarvis is like, I'm gonna take the blue pill, not the white pill tonight. Oh, because all he's doing is having dreams of Jason Voorhees and seeing him in the mirror. He brought his mask, of course. That's the only thing you like about him. And then Antoine, the little kid, he's growing up at a psychopath the farm. Reckless? I know, he's just there like, oh, I'm visiting my friend. Oh, wait, and then you get the bipolar bitch. She, like, sets up the dinner plate for Joey the fat kid. And, and he's like, already dead. And, and like, then the stuttering the kid's like, dead kid. the stuttering <laughs> guy like freaking uh, Nate Dunny or not Nate Dunny. One of the best scenes ever. And then like so many random strange characters introduced throughout the whole thing, including the drifter who cleans out the chicken coop. And, and the, he gets killed, and he's watching the teens do it. And then the mayor bitches out the cops at the... And all he's doing is sitting there smoking, and he just, like, stops and listens to him, and he's like, listen, I know who it is. It's Jason Voorhees. And he's like, so they are at Crystal Lake. And you're like, okay, I don't get it. are they at Camp Crystal Lake or no? And then Reggie... They, we, they never make it clear. Reggie meets it up at fucking... Meets up with fucking Juana Man, which is apparently his brother in this movie. And then he ends he up offering him. He lives out of his van. Yeah, the teacher takes it up there, and they're like, "Oh, time to go along with him. Get away from the psychopath farm for a little while." He ends up offering the girl Pam a freaking, even though there's only one Pam in the Friday the Thirteenth franchise. He's he offers her an egg roll and freaking pizza out of the back of terrible. his van. And he's parked at like a trailer park. Just another few characters just to do all the death ideas that they had I to know, do. I know, they, they leave. Just, or no, the Hick shows It's like up they just Tommy, wanted to do all the death ideas that they had. Tommy gets mouth. to a fight with the Hick there. No, then, then the Hick couple finally gets hacked up, but it's on an AMC, so they cut away from like every death scene. It's like Fear Fest 2012 going on. They just show the walking dead. And the talking and, dead and, right and after. And cut away death. <laughs> And then the rest of the retards just get killed at the house, including the cops. And then Reggie walks up on him and he ends up screaming like a girl, but then he runs like an all American. <laughs> then out of nowhere, he, Freshman year. he busts out the tractor in the freaking barn. Oh, this is just terrible. Like, oh, he saves the day, Reggie, in his little red jumpsuit in the 80s. <laughs> He starts with a track like he know how to. You start know what's awesome? Then his dad gets like 
his body just gets thrown in, or his grandpa was like the cook there, like sleepaway camp oh, style. Oh yeah, yeah, she's like James Earl Jones' dad. He she's gets like, she's thrown through she's the like, window, and then it's just his uncle or like his pop or whatever, thrown through the window <laughs> by Jason. Like Ghostface stuff in the opening of Scream Four. You no, know, like it's not Reggie, but it's his papa. Oh. oh my God! Then it's the infamous chainsaw versus machete ending. Oh, this is where they go in the barn and the girl has the chain. And then he just stalls out, him. and you're like, oh, she forgot to gas and oil it. Reggie's just cheering it on. You're know, like, this is terrible. He's want to fast forward. Because we did. I know. And then, of course, Tommy terrible. Jarvis shows up because he was the red herring who dipped out a few scenes earlier. Oh, and he just stands there and he gets stabbed. First off, he's Jason. kicking all the dweebs' ass the whole movie. Then he then he just stands there and lets Jason. Then when push slash comes him. to shove, Jason just basically. Push kicks. comes to shove, the writers are like, he just stands there and he gets cut. And then there's like some interracial heroism as Pam and Reggie like end up shoving Jason off the top story of the to bar. Fall, to fall his death on the uh, the spike thing. The okay, this is retarded. Everyone knows this is retarded. Well, then, like, Jason's mask pops off, and it's totally not even Jason. And then it's some guy with pop. curly hair, and then, like, even though he pop. had, like, a mongoloid shaved head the whole time they were so showing it. it ends up not even being Jason Voorhees. It was the father who was also the medic of the freaking fat kid with the candy bar. <laughs> That's who the killer was. It wasn't even Jason. And you're like, okay... They like got news clips. And so he just, he just went on. A, he was following the. And so he Jason. just went on a hacked up killing spree of all the retards. At because the his son died, so he's a psychopath. And then, and then for the shack ending, of course, uh, Tommy Jarvis has his Jason mask perfectly in the hospital room and puts it on. Oh, and kills the white chick who's the Terrible. counselor. But then it's just a, it's just a dream though, so they just fake you out. No, it was then it was like a dream within a dream and he actually does it. It's fucking retarded. D plus I'm out. This is JBM and Terrible. L made just from Villain News. Terrible. October two thousand twelve horror movie marathon.